Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, viewers, and the world out there. So before we jump in to the energies, into the message, I want to go over a few rules for these messages to help you along on your tarot journey. Now please keep in mind guys the messages here on YouTube are general. That means they're not going to resonate every time with every person. It's really about the title. If there's something in the title resonating, there's most likely going to be something in the message for you. Take what resonates in the message and leave the rest. Also, guys, always use your discernment and understand the reason we watch these readings is so we have an opportunity to shift the energy, to change the outcome. Now, there are certain times where it may be a little bit more difficult to shift that energy, but awareness is going to be the key. If you're finding it's resonating, but there's a little bit of confusion, feel free to reach out, clarify to get a personal reading. For information on ritual kits for personal readings, it's all linked below in the description box. For access to the extended readings, they're all on Patreon. If you join the membership, you get all of the content for free. If you would like to purchase them individually, the link will be below. Now, if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, feel free to subscribe to the channel. And if you found the message was helpful, if it's resonating for you, please give it a thumbs up or comment below how it was helpful, how it was resonating. You never know how your story could help another person. Mercury in retrograde in the sign of Sagittarius. Now, Mercury retrograde is going to be from November 25th to December 15th. But what does this mean for us? With Sagittarius being the truth seeker, but also one of the more optimistic signs, this means that the energy is going to shift from introspective and suspicious to expansive and hopeful. A lot of deep truths have been revealed these past few months. This Sagittarian energy will feel like a breath of fresh air. So for Virgo, for this Mercury retrograde, this retrograde is actually happening in your fourth house of home and family. You're thinking about making bold changes in your personal life. Plan and dream big. Just be cautious because bounceful Sagittarius energy can also be excessive if you're not aware of it. But still, if you have a vision, if you have a dream in mind, right now is going to be the perfect time for you, Virgo, to sit down and plan it out, to sit down and write it out, okay? So let's dive a little bit deeper into the energies for you. And let's see what's coming out for you through this Mercury retrograde energy. Most important message here for Virgo spirit. What do my Virgo friends need to know? What do they need to see through this upcoming energy? Please and thank you. Ace of Cups, Five of Cups, and of course, the Page of Pentacles. So the Page of Pentacles, guys, is a planning card. This is like taking time, sitting down, and making a plan on what your next move is going to be or where you want to focus your energy next. Do feel like there are new things coming in. You have the Ace of Cups and the Fool energy. There's still some things from the past that you're releasing. But I do feel like through this energy and moving into 2025, Virgo, you're pushing forward. You're no longer focusing on the things that you are leaving behind. And you're focusing on future endeavors, which is a beautiful energy. Okay. So we're going to see how this is going to play out in your reading. We have the Four of Wands, the World, the Nine of Wands. So... There is a little bit of fear that you need to push through, but it's to be expected with the way things are at this time. 
the energetic change, the energetic shifts that's going on astrologically. So there is a need to be aware of that. We also have the Ace of Wands, the Devil, and the Four of Cups. Now these three cards are going to be your advice guidance moving forward, Virgo. So we're going to pull those over in the extended version. I'm also going to clarify in the extended version if that's something you guys are interested in, the links are going to be below. I'm still going to pull a lot of information out of these cards, guys. So let's just dive right into it. What is being avoided at this time? Four of Wands energy, okay? So to me, this is like community. It's like joining groups, finding like-minded individuals. I feel here, Virgo, what's coming out for you. That there is a person, maybe this is a friendship. For some of you, this is a relationship. This person in your past had betrayed your trust and had taken advantage of you through this process. And what they had put you through wasn't right, wasn't deserved. It was very much part of who they were and not so much having to do with you, okay? I do feel here through this process though, Virgo, you have learned that you need to protect your energy but there has to be a balance. So we can't always just have our guard up when it comes to meeting new people. Sometimes we have to be open to new connections, to new experiences. And I feel like you are becoming open through this healing process, okay? And that's the world energy, okay? cycles complete the lesson has been learned virgo so you know what it is that you need to know in regards to relationships friendships here's what i will say you know what it is that you will accept in your life and you know what it is that you don't want to accept in your life so follow that don't allow anything that doesn't feel good into your life and focus on the things that do. Right now, there's a lot of fear about, am I going to make the right decision? Is the next friend or relationship going to use me? And so our wall is up. Nine of Wands energy. I say our because I do find this a personal type of reading. Some truth lies in this for my life as well. And I do have a Virgo moon and Virgo ascending. I have actually a lot of Virgo in my chart. So right now our wall is up and that's okay. It's important to understand that's part of the process. So when you have your wall up, you're going through this self-discovery journey of understanding, understanding, and overstanding how you feel and why. What guided you to this place? What's coming out for you, Virgo, is you're coming out of the shell. So no fear. You don't need to fear meeting new people or joining groups or putting yourself out there. You already understand what you will and won't accept into your life. And so there's no need to worry on that part. Again, lean into the things that feel good and let go of the things that don't feel good. I also feel here the Virgo that this is resonating for. You're either in the process of going through shadow work, healing from something that's been holding you back for some time, or you're getting ready to head into this phase. Okay. And you're going to know which part of the journey you're on. Some of you are already made it through the journey. Some of you are just in the beginning phases. Okay understand that where you're at energetically virgo is part of the process so sit down come to that understanding within yourself also focus on how you want to align your energy where do you want to focus your energy next you can use any anger any rage even sadness towards building something that you desire you just have to learn to alchemize the energy properly, okay? And so how does that look? 
instead of focusing on the things that went wrong, focus on the things that are going right and the things that you want to create. So we're going to clarify this message. Again, I'm going to clarify in the extended version. The links will all be below. In the extended version, we'll dive into the clarification. We'll also look at the advice guidance moving forward. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. For information on rituals, for ritual kits, for personal readings, it's all linked below in the description box. And if you found the message was helpful, if it's resonating for you, please give it a thumbs up or comment below how it was helpful, how it was resonating. You never know how your story could help another person. So we have message in a bottle for your oracle message, Virgo. So the message that comes with this card, Virgo, are you refusing to acknowledge the signs because you want things as you want them? Red flags are not pretty decorations for you to admire. They are warning you for a reason. If something doesn't sit right, trouble could be hiding in the bushes. Don't ignore the signs. Spirit always has your best interest at heart and will draw your attention to what you are overlooking. What I take from this, Virgo, is there's may maybe some synchronicities, some signs that you're ignoring, and I would say these have to do with red flags or warning signs. This is associated with this devil energy. And what I see coming out here, Virgo, is you're ignoring that. In order for you to get into this next phase, to push through the fear, you're going to have to look at this very straightforward, very practically. Queen of Swords energy. So Virgo, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. I hope the message was helpful for you, and I look forward to reading your cards again soon. Namaste. So just wanted to come on and talk a little bit about what's new and exciting for our tribe and here on the channel. So on Tuesdays, I'm going live at 1 p.m. Most Tuesdays that I don't have an event that weekend, only because I'm usually preparing for an event. Also for events to connect in person, check out Facebook. That's where I can share the actual event page for you to go check out each individual event. If you're interested in the newsletter, the monthly newsletter comes out the third week of the month. So if that's something that you're interested in, you sign up over on the website. On the link tree, I have all the links on how to connect with me whether it be Facebook, Instagram, I also have Teespring, the website. Also keep in mind guys, through the website is the only way to book a personal reading. If you reach out to me um, and message me personally, that's fine, but I'm always going to refer you back to the website because that has my schedule. It has a calendar where you get to select the day and the time where your reading will be done. Please just give me a little bit of grace when doing these events also, guys. It can take a lot out of me to have to prepare and also to set up and to interact, whether it be a day or a two-day event. So just give me a little bit of grace the weeks that I have the events going on. I promise I didn't forget about you guys. I promise I will be back um, and I will be live again soon. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support, for liking, for subscribing, for sharing the content. You guys are all amazing, and I look forward to connecting again soon. Namaste.